I'm making an old-fashioned classic, what I call company pot roast, with tomatoes and lots of red wine. So I have a five pound piece of really good quality chuck roast. If I did this with something like a filet of beef, by the time it was done braising, it would be tough and dry. I want it to be moist and absolutely delicious. I'm gonna pat it dry, helps in the searing, and then I'm gonna season it. Tablespoon of salt, it sounds like a lot, but it's a big piece of meat. I'm just all over. Whenever I serve it, people go, oh, I love pot roast. And a half a tablespoon of pepper. Big handful of flour on a plate. And then just roll the pot roast in it. So this is gonna help searing the outside of the pot roast. But what it's also gonna do is it's gonna thicken the sauce. And this is where the big pot comes in. This is a Dutch oven, and it's just the best pot you can use for pot roast. So I'm just going to heat up about two tablespoons of olive oil, just enough to sear the meat all the way around. Just get it really nice and hot. What the searing is going to do is it's going to seal in the juices, but it's also going to make the sauce taste fantastic. OK, in goes the beef. It's going to sear about four to five minutes on each side. In the meantime, I'm going to get the vegetables ready. I need two cups of carrots. And I think this pot roast is ready to be turned. I'm just gonna turn it maybe a quarter of a turn so it gets browned all over. Oh, look how gorgeous that looks. Next, I'm gonna work on the celery. I need two cups of celery. Nice big chunks. You can do it more finely if you like, but I like the sort of earthy, chunky flavor of the big chunks of carrots and celery. Next is the onions. I've got two big Spanish onions. You can use regular yellow onions, but these are so much easier. Just give them a big, rough dice. Next are the leeks. OK, just going to give them a big, rough chop. And these leeks are going to go in with the onions and carrots and celery. It's going to flavor the sauce. OK, I think the meat's all seared. I'm going to take this big baby out, put it on a plate, and then start making the sauce. Whoa. I'm going to put a little bit more olive oil in, and then I'm going to sear all the vegetables, get them nice and browned and caramelized. It's kind of like making soup. You always want to start with the vegetables and get them nice and browned. I'm going to cook them for about 10 minutes. OK, while that cooks, I'm going to put some garlic in. And the garlic goes right in with the vegetables. With a tablespoon of salt. Just smells wonderful. Easy enough for every day and delicious for company. Bouquet garni can be really any kind of herbs, but I'm using thyme and rosemary for my garden. Sometimes what the French do is they like hang the string over the side of the pot, but we'll be able to fish it out. Right in. It's gonna flavor, it's gonna be fantastic. Next, some red wine. I like to use burgundy for this. About two cups right in the pan. And what this is going to do is going to flavor the sauce. Two tablespoons of cognac. Gives it that nice hit. Mm, this is smelling pretty good. OK, next is one can of whole plum tomatoes. I actually choose the tomatoes that are in tomato puree, so it's even thicker. One cup of chicken stock. I use homemade chicken stock if you can. It really does make a difference. Tomatoes and the wine, celery and carrots. Fantastic. It's going to make such a good sauce. Now it's just time to put the beef in. Oh, this is some large pot roast. Just slide it right in. And that's what's going to make it taste moist and delicious, all the gorgeous sauce. I'm just going to bring it up to a simmer, and then it's going to go into the oven, and it's going to cook for several hours until it's meltingly delicious. Who wouldn't want that for dinner? I would say this is pot roast good enough for company.